Welcome back to the December edition of What's Up Stratford. Joining me next is Kathy Ritzema, the Executive Director for Alzheimer's Society of Huron, Perth. <laughs> That's uh, quite a mouthful, Kathy. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Tell us about the merger. I believe it happened last year, and I know it was a long process. How is the merger between the two going, and um, how did it come about, and why did why did it uh, why, why what was the genesis of it, please? Well, we've been, we officially unified on April the 1, 2022, and the Perth Board of Directors at that time, it was the Perth Society, approached the Huron Society and asked for a conversation to think about what it may look like to unify. So it was a long process, as you said, and uh, they went through three phases. And at the end of the third phase, they decided, yes, it was a good idea to unify. And basically, it was that we could really expand our services to further uh, be able to help more people with a dementia. So that was really the, the foundation of why we unified. And yeah, it's going, it's going well. Change is hard. Change is always hard for everybody, of course. But uh, we're doing very well. And clients are being served no one has been left behind, so it's very good. Yeah, better served. Kathy, um, answer a question. Um, is Alzheimer's a form of dementia? Yes, it is. What we like to say is dementia is the umbrella term, and under that umbrella, Alzheimer's is one of them, the most prevalent dementia of the moment. Oh, it is, and that's why it has the prevalent name. Okay, that makes sense. Kathy, this is a tough question. There's 600,000 people in Canada with Alzheimer's. They project there's going to be 1 million by 2030. What is your opinion on why that's going to happen? Well, your greatest risk is your age to getting a dementia, Alzheimer's disease. So, of course, you know, the baby boomers are aging. So we're going to have a very high population of people over the age of 65. That's basically what's happening. Just in a nutshell, our aging population. Okay. Aging population. Yeah. Now, you were part of the Huron before and you saw soups on for the previous Perth. And I think it's the 29th anniversary. They get thousands of people out. Tell us what they can expect next month in January at uh, Soups On. Well, it's going to be very exciting. Again, we're going to have all our soup vendors. Most of them are coming back. We are um, just in the process of confirming our entertainment. People love the entertainment. I believe last year we had about 2,000 people come through, and I'm sure uh, we'll have that again. It seems to be that this is a signature event for the Stratford community. Last year was the first time we were back in person since COVID, so uh, that was great to see everyone out. And um, yeah, the planning is ramping up, and we have about 150 volunteers that will be helping us that day. We're very excited about it. I'm very excited to be part of Soup Song. I'm new to it, so it's very exciting for me. It's I should be impartial, but I love it. It's one of my favorite fundraisers. Kathy, why do you need to fundraise money? Well, we are funded about 60%, maybe 63% from the Ontario Health. And so we need to raise the rest of the money. So some of our programs, like our social rec program, which is very important to our clients, it keeps them healthy, they get out, um, it's less isolation, it's just overall good for their brain and their body. So that's a, one program that's not funded that we wanna make sure we continue to fund. We've had grants in the past that are no longer, so we continue to fundraise so we can do that work. And there's other programs that we do to our volunteer program is not funded. There's several programs that we need to fund. Right. So it's a, there's a, this is a huge contribution part. What are some other fundraisers that you do throughout 2024? Well, our Walk for Alzheimer's, that's in May. And again, that is our largest fundraiser. And this past year, we had tremendous success. Of course, we want to encourage people to come out and walk. And again, it's just that healthy lifestyle that we like to promote. So trying to do fundraisers that complement our, uh, our mission is really good, too. Well, Kathy, thanks for doing Soups On in January and the walk outdoors in May. <laughs> That's why it's such a great success. And thank you for a difference you're making in people's lives. I really appreciate your time today. Well, thank you for having me anytime. Thank you. Coming up next is Deanna Horton to talk about 50 Shades of Grape. <laughs> 